Good evening <laughs> from Nigeria, <laughs> from Lagos, Nigeria. Good evening. Well, at the time you'll be watching this video, it could be morning, afternoon, night. So, good morning, afternoon, good night, <laughs> good day, basically. So, yeah, um, today I'm going to be teaching on how to make a handkerchief pattern skirt, how to cut it. So, this is going to be serving as my pattern paper today. I hope it's clear enough. Um, I know that at some point it might get blurry i've not really gotten my positioning you know with my camera and lights very well yet but i want to be able to put videos out like from where i am right now and i hope to get better but um i will try as much as possible to ensure that this is clear enough and straight to the point so um i know they usually say without further ado or something like that <laughs> Anyways, let's leave that aside. So yeah, let's go straight into it. So this is my pattern paper and just imagine this is the edge of the paper. And, um, and I want to start this pattern from right here. So you need certain things to, let's imagine we're making a handkerchief pattern skirt. Um, so you need certain things to get this um, done. You need the measurement of your waist circumference. Um, that's your waist your waist circumference and you need the measurement of the length of your skirt that is from your waist that's high waist i use high waist in this um, the, um for this purpose it's going to be high waist and then um, you need from your waist to your knee that's the length of the skirt so i'm basically going to take the measurement of my waist to my knee so that's equals um 28 inches and then the length of my skirt is The length of my skirt is going to be 24 inches so yes these are the measurements we're going to be using by the way you need to know that there are two sides to a tape rule there's the inches side and there is the centimeter side so i usually use the inches side i know some people are more familiar with the centimeter side of the tape rule, but this is the part that i'm most familiar with but you can always convert your measurements you can just put it on google um converting inches to centimeters and then there you have it so whatever you measure basically but whatever works for you just try as much as possible to um understand this and this is going to be easy trust me so yes and we need a formula and that formula is the formula of um a circle the circumference of a circle is c equals to 2 pi r that is c equals to 2 pi r because it's basically like a circle pattern that we're working with but don't let this bother you or don't let it confuse you i'm going to break it down so yes now we have these two measurements right um so this skirt that we're going to be making the pattern for it has it's going to have just one opening and that's the opening at the back for the zip yeah and it's probably going to have a band right so let's work with that so um, for my zip allowance, I'm going to need extra two inches. That's one inch on one side and one inch on the other side. So you need to add the two inches to this. And that will be equals 28 plus two equals to 30 inches, right? So we're going to be working with this to get um, as the circumference of our waist. So what you need now to do is to even start you need to get the radius of a circle because your waist is a circle this is the waist of a human being you know when you take your tape roll around your waist right this is the waist and then you have the center point and then you have the radius so this is the radius right so that once you get the radius and you understand why we need to get the radius soon but basically if you go on google and you put in formula for finding the radius of the circle it's going to put out the formula for you and probably tell you to insert your circumference and this is actually your circumference this is what your circumference would be but in this case we're going to add two two inches for the zip allowance so this is going to be your new circumference right so 
I hope this is clear, right? Um, I mean, you can always drop questions and I'm here to answer you. So from here, we're going to um, use this formula. And to get the radius of a circle, the formula for the radius of a circle is equals to R equals to um, C, as the circumference, over 2 pi. 2 pi. So this is the formula to find in the radius. So once you insert everything, um, C is going to be 30 inches. Um, 2 is going to be here multiplied by pi which is usually 3.142 but um, like I said you your pi all these calculations you can just um, use um, Google to get it done is automated there but if you want to go like calculate it yourself you can use this formula but basically my answer is 4.77 inches so that's going to be what I'm going to use to start making this kit. So let's have this calculation, this measurement right here, and then let's go right into it. So yes, you're going to um, start from this point. You're going to take your tape roll, right? Then you're going to measure with your tape roll from, so let me just move this paper towards the side. So you're going to measure from um, with your tape roll from this point to wherever 4.77 is going to be. So let's imagine it's going to be here. So you measure it this way. You also measure from this same point downward. So let's say it's going to be here. Then you take the tape roll too and measure, take the tape roll, put the tape roll here, measure around just to give you points so that you can connect all the dots together. So I'm going to explain why this is going to be like this shortly. Just follow me. So this is what we're going to have, right? So if you look at this, this is the shape of a circle, right? And this is the center of a circle, and this is the radius, right? So imagine this is, so you're going to have your, um, you want to make a skirt. You're going to fold that, um, your fabric into four, right? When you fold your fabric into four, that is what you're going to use to cut out um your skirt so this pattern draft this pattern paper right before you place it on your fabric you're going to have your fabric folded into four um just hold on let me explain better so let's take this fabric for example right this is your fabric so if you're going to place this pattern paper on this fabric before you place after cutting out the pattern right which you would understand better this is how you're going to have it unfold one and two so you're going to place the pattern just on this edge so you see that this is just a portion of this circle right like i've drawn here you can see that this is like a pizza for example taking a portion out of a pizza just a quarter out of a pizza and that is this same thing that i've drawn here right so that is why the radius of a circle which is this which this is actually the radius of a circle that's what why we use it to measure this part because at the end of the day when you when it's all out when you open your pattern up it will give you a full circle and that will now be the circumference of your waist good i'm sure you understand i'm 100 percent sure <laughs> i believe yeah but then you can always ask questions so that's why we have this right here so moving further um we're going to get the length of the skirt and to get the length of the skirt is going to be 24 inches then you want to add your allowance so adding your allowance will make the 24 maybe if you want to add an extra one inch so that when you fold it inside this the length of the skirt is still perfect so you want to add an extra one inch that will make it 25 so you take your tape rule from this point right and then you measure 25 right here so what I usually do to make it very easy for me is that I take the, after measuring from here to here, 25, I now take the tape rule back here, yeah, and then I measure what it gives me up onto this point. So basically that's just like saying adding 25 to 4.77, right? Now to get, um, to get that, what you need to do is 
um, basically add it together, then you get it. Sorry, I lost my train of thought at, um, for a moment there. So you do the same thing from, from this point and you get your 25 right here. So once you do that, right, you want to make sure that um, you're going to get a square. And to do that, take your table right here again, right, and come here, measure 25 again. Take your table here, measure 25 again. Now take your table here, measure 25 this way again. Take your table here, measure 25 this way again. There, you're going to have a perfect um you're going to get your perfect lines so you cannot join the lines together sorry my sketch is imperfect but basically if you measure it properly you're going to get the lines that you need right so forget these marks just imagine the marks were actually here right so i just had to make it look as straight as possible for the purpose of this video so now this is your skirt pattern, right? Now, I need to go back to the waist because, you know, if if you take your measurement from here and you do a circle, right? And you do the radius and you make it large, you know it's going to be larger. If you go take it down, you know it's going to be a larger circle. So what you want to do now is this waist, right? If you're going to give yourself an if you're going to give an allowance for the waist you won't say oh, okay let the um, allowance come down because it's going to now make you wider for you right so you can cut you can cut the circumference of this clothes at this point you have to add one inch right here i mean half an inch actually because if you're going to put a band or whatever you want to actually do to the waist you're going to add the upwards not downwards right it only makes sense to actually add the upward if we, if we actually think about it because at the end of the day when you sew you come back to this point you you come back to this point then you get your perfect you can cut right here so this is how you're going to give yourself the extra allowance so that is this is actually going to be where your scissors is going to go through then your scissors will also go through here let me just draw the mark of the scissors your scissors is also going to go through here and your scissors is also going to go through here so those are the three parts you're going to be cutting for this pattern um i think we're actually done <laughs> i think we're actually done so this is your skirt pattern for a handkerchief skirt so let me just cut it and um, you're going to see what it's going to give right so yes, I'm back and this is the pattern. I've cut it out right now. So this is the pattern you're going to use to cut your handkerchief skirt. Now, you want to take your fabric, right? Like I said before, you take your fabric, you fold it into four. One, and then two. Ensuring that as you're folding it, you get the length of this, right? So, for example, this is what I'm using. Some people like to add their allowance to... Um, some people prefer to um, to not add the allowance to the pattern and add it here. But I always prefer to add my allowance sometimes. Or, I mean, yeah, not always. I prefer to add my allowance in cases like this so that I don't lose out and you get... Because of this, the... the um, because of how, shall I say, delicate... <laughs> this part can be i don't want to make any mistakes with the measurement here so yeah this is it so once you have something like this right you want to now fold it to this part downward like this again what you can also do you can actually measure it you know your 25 inches you can measure it add 25 inches as the length to this then you just use your table measure and then fold measure and fold that kind of thing so now you have this folded into four, just like that. So now that it's folded into four, you take your pattern and then you place. So let's cut it together. So you place your pattern. I usually don't waste fabric. Okay, I prefer not to waste my fabric. I don't think anybody would prefer to waste their fabric. But basically you take it here. So once it's here like this, you use your chalk. In this 
for the sake of this video I'll just going to, I'm just going to use my I'm just going to use my biro right then you take it here too and take it here too and once you're done you take it off and cut there's my scissors so you cut it out like that and you also cut here So that is it right there so let me show you so this is what it's going to look like right so this is the this is the circumference of your this is the circumference of your waist this is the measurement right so what you want to do is since it's on fold you can check it out because your waist is doesn't go upward like this right it's going to be straight so you know that once you straighten it out like this it's going to already give you that handkerchief pattern right it's going to really fall right like that right so um for your zip allowance you want it to be just on one side so once you open it up like this when it's just two flaps you put your scissors right here and then you cut through just a very straight line like that so this is it once you once you, ha you have it around your waist you add your zip here you bend this part by one inch at when you're done and there you go thank you for watching I hope this has actually been helpful I think I've come to the end of this video um, I'm going to show you pictures so that you'd see what I made with this pattern bye